Hey, it's Monica the Hiking Chick, and today I'm going to talk about my Pacific Crest Trail Mindset. For those of you that don't know, the Pacific Crest Trail is a 2,650 mile continuous footpath from the border of California and Mexico all the way to the border of Washington and Canada. And I plan on hiking it in 2021. So I believe your journey on the Pacific Crest Trail begins uh, not when you hit the trail, but the day you decide you want to hike it. If you're like me, you start researching gear and training and resupply, food. Uh, you start reading guidebooks and uh, watching a lot of vlogs. And um, But one thing I've realized uh, through that is that it's really a mental game. And I picked up this great little book that you may have heard of. It's called Pacific Crest Trials. And according to the authors of that book, who are seasoned through hikers, it's 90% mental. So how do you prepare your mind for something you've never done? I'm going to share with you uh, five things that I've been doing in preparation. And so here they are. Number one, clarify your goal. I'm a big list maker, so this is perfect for me. List all the reasons why you want to hike the PCT. And then to kind of clarify that and, and write out your goal statement. and what I plan on doing is uh, bringing that either like in my phone or on a piece of paper or index card or something and sticking it in my backpack so I can refer back to it as I'm hiking or want to have any of those low spots um, while hiking the trail. I think it's important to really understand your big why up front and that's going to really drive your whole mindset for the trail and for the hike and for the planning stages. Number two, identify your fears. So what I did is literally make a list. I um, took a piece of paper, drew a line down the middle, and on the left side, I listed all the things I'm afraid of. And then after I did that, on the right side, next to each one of those fears, I listed um, action items I can take, things I can do to lessen those fears and make me more confident as I hit the trail. So for example, if you're super afraid of the wildlife, bears and cougars and rattlesnakes, then what you could do would be to just educate yourself on how to handle encounters with those um, animals. And that way you're gonna be a little more confident as you hit the trail. Number three, identify the negative voices in your head or the negative voices of others. So the idea here is to identify all the negative voices in your head or unfortunately, you know, there might be some people in your life that are saying things that maybe would instill doubts in you that you can't or shouldn't do the trail. Uh, but I think most of all, it's stuff we have in our own heads. So uh, same thing as I did with my fears. I made a list on one side of a piece of paper that just was all of the the things in my head that were doubts, you know, like I haven't I'm not in good enough shape or I don't have the time or I, I shouldn't do this and then on the right side I started brainstorming why I thought those things weren't accurate you know what's the reality of the situation so for instance um, I'm not in good enough shape let's say on the right hand side I I write things like no I can start training now I am training now I'm getting stronger and I can go at my own pace on the trail I can hike my own hike, as they say, and I don't have to compare myself with anybody else. And I think it's important, even as you're planning, because I find all of those thoughts are creeping into my head as I'm thinking about doing the trail. And it's important to refer back to that list just to give yourself the confidence that, yeah, I am going to do this. Number four, identify how you typically handle stress and adversity. Hiking the trail is going to be hard, and so I think it's important to be really in touch with how you handle stress and adversity and, and situations. How are you going to react uh, when something happens on trail or it gets really hard? And really being in touch with that up front and then identifying if you need to kind of hone your coping skills or 
um, you know, maybe need to figure out ways that you're going to handle stress better. So I typically, um, I use prayer and meditation and, um, and deep breathing just to remain calm. And so hopefully those mechanisms will kick in when I'm under pressure on trail. Number five, be flexible. If I could sum up my PCT mindset in one word, it would be flexibility. Now there's an old saying that says, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. We can plan all we want, but unless we plan to be flexible, we're just going to end up being disappointed and frustrated. If 2020 has taught me anything, and boy, it has taught us all a lot, hasn't it? It would be that we aren't really in as much control of our circumstances as we think we are. So as I look forward to hiking the PCT in 2021, I'm going to remain open-minded and flexible to what comes. Even though the PCTA has suspended the long distance permit lottery that normally takes place in October, I'm gonna remain hopeful and continue planning for 2021. Besides, there is more than one way to hike the PCT. And since the journey is the goal for me, I can't help but be successful. So are you planning to hike the PCT in 2021? If so, I'd love to hear what your PCT mindset is and how you're preparing your mind for the trail. And if you've already hiked the PCT, please share your words of wisdom in the comments below. If you liked this video, please stay tuned for my next PCT prep video, my fears and how I'm addressing them. Until then, I'll see you on the next hike.